My name is Thomas Such. I was born in Basel-Stadt in Switzerland. I grew up in Basel. I studied medicine in Basel and then I went into uh, many countries to learn about healthcare. And finally I am now in academia where I have the chair for pharmaceutical medicine at the University of Basel. And since uh, last October I am the co-director of genomic medicine in the Hilsland group. Well, my hobbies are twofold. Uh, one is the mountains. I love skiing and I love to climb mountains. And funny enough, I had the chance of climbing three 4,000 meter high mountains in the last couple of years. And the second hobby is classical music. So uh, it's not playing an instrument, but it's conducting symphony orchestras. So uh, I have uh, started this hobby about 10 years ago and I, I really enjoy it. Well, I have had the chance of conducting amateur orchestras, so lay people playing uh, in a symphony orchestra, but I've also had the chance to work with uh, professional symphony orchestras. Uh, my favorite one is the Danube Symphony Orchestra in Budapest, where I go regularly to, to train. So my job is essentially to help people these can be healthy people or patients to understand their genes. That's by analyzing their genes, bringing this information together with the clinical information and helping these people to make the best choices and to help them also navigate through the healthcare system with, for example, choosing better therapies, avoiding unhealthy therapies. And uh, with that, we will push the wealth and the health of patients. Well, at Hirsland, we try to bring together the power of genetic medicine and genetics with clinical medicine, bring these two together. And uh, this leads us to astonishing possibilities. For example, you might find a person who has a genetic makeup which will call for a specific therapy. So this patient, for example, will not tolerate a certain drug and we will have to switch to another one. If we would not know the genetics, we would possibly not be able to do that. Or we would uh, avoid unnecessary treatments by uh, looking at the genes. So this is, this is a real interesting aspect in the context of modern clinical medicine. In the next five to 10 years, the technology of how we look at genes, how we interpret genes, how we find genes is going to be tremendously advanced and we will be able to even more blend this information together with the clinical information. How are we going to do this? This is by using the best technology, that is by understanding how this information then can be put into really practical, practical terms. For example, to have the results faster, to have the results with more accuracy and uh, this is all going to take place in the next couple of years and uh, we will be definitely following this development at Hirsland Precise. Mm -hmm.